All right, man. Here we go. Another uh, debacle by these New York Knickerbockers. Knicks lose 122 to 102 to the Detroit Pistons, <laughs> who were without Derrick Rose, without Blake Griffin, without uh, 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 what's it, Reggie Jackson, without a point guard. Yep. And got flat out destroyed. JL, so you want to give me your thoughts? You you want me to start off, man? Where do, where do we go, man? Where do you, I don't where know, do you man. Go it's whatever this, you. Man? I'm tight, though. I'm tight for many different reasons. I'm tight for so many different reasons, man. I, we were in the game. We were in the game. We were in the game to start. We was there. Frank and Mitch is holding it down defensively for us. And the luck changed when Mitchell Robinson went down with that yeah. elbow. Yeah, Mitch caught a nasty bow, man. Caught a nasty bow, knocked him out clean. Yeah. That's 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 what all she wrote from then on. He was the only one who can really contend uh, with the bulldozer down there. Yeah, that was it. And was he, it. obviously, you, you knew Drummond was going to get his. But Mitch was really our only hope at uh, even trying to slow him down just a little bit. You know what I mean? Yeah, because at the time before Mitch was going down, it was tied, I believe. I think it was like 12-12 before Mitch go, went down. Yeah. And then all of a sudden, it just ballooned and we couldn't recover. Couldn't couldn't recover at all, man. Go, go ahead, bro. Finish finish what you were saying. Yeah, and it was a shame because it looked like Frank was playing well. And he looked loose. Yeah, Mitch was playing well. He was getting, grabbing up all the rebounds, presenting uh, preventing all these second chance points. But it just, it just seems like everybody else was a step slow. Having uh, Marcus Morris kind of guards uh, Snell, he was like a step. Slow. Bro, we had Tony Snell looking like Scotty Pippen out there. Are you kidding me? Yeah, man. Are you kidding me? Come on, man. Like, th- this was a game. Again, there's no gimmies, man. But this was a game, J. Ellis, where it was just like, man, if we don't get this, man, come on, man. What, I, are, I, we? I, what are we right now? If we don't, we can't get this game. Tony Snell averages seven points per game, and he dropped 24 on us. He must be in the locker room right now like, thank you, Knicks, for getting me back on track. Thank you. Yeah, man. It's like... Everybody was seemed like a step slow. They didn't like what was what was up with the transition defense tonight. Like, oh why? my god, man! They were playing rec league cherry pick basketball. Every long rebound resulted in a transition bucket for, for Detroit, bro. Every uh, every time, every time, Fizz counted five. It was Fizz too count- much for me to even handle. I it it was it. too much for me to handle, man. And. That's why Frank ended up not getting taken out in the first two quarters because he was the only one playing. Couldn't afford it. Was going down. Couldn't <laughs> afford it. We needed we needed five Frank Nilaki, four Frank Nilakinas and Mitch out there tonight because we could not afford to even give him a breather. The minute they took him out, we went we were down nine points that quick. It's, it, it was that it was quick. amazing. It was amazing how many holes he was plugging up by himself with him Man. and Mitch, and then him by himself when Mitch went down. Man. It was like it was. It's like, we, if we just needed one more confident defender. On, on the perimeter, man, we got killed. Yeah. The, the rotations were weak. The, 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 the pick and roll defense was abominable. We were losing yeah. guys. We weren't stepping over the screens. The traps were getting defeated. No, lousy rotations. And these guys just had free range. They shot 50% from three tonight. 50% from three tonight. Tony crazy. Snell was perfect from downtown. And, and the crazy part is... If you looked at the offensive numbers from the Knicks, you would think we were doing well. Like, it's crazy because you look at Julius Randle shot 53%. Yeah. Marcus Moore shot 50%. Mitch Robin 75 Frank Lakina shot 71% from yeah. the field. It, you know, I, the honestly, the, it wasn't even – the offense wasn't terrible tonight. The offense was not terrible tonight. They moved the rock in the beginning. They had good flow. They had good continuity. They had good pace. I thought Frank had a, definitely had a hand in that. RJ had a hand in it. Julius mm-hmm. came back to life. He, he, you know, he was efficient um, with his offense. You know, Mook came alive later on. It was, <sighs> Abomination, man. It was. It was all about the defense, man. It was all about the defense. And and the thing is, this was one thing I was worried about in the beginning of the season with the construction of this team is. Mitchell Robinson is our is it is it is it is it bro Mitch is it bro Mitch is it and once once we didn't sign bring um Wooten on I was a little worried because I'm like yo if Mitch goes down yeah then what it's it's figuring you saw what happened like there was a lot of pick and rolls where 
Like we just needed an athletic big yeah. to break it up. Yeah. And then we just lob it we over had, the We top had no end. interior, man. Yeah. Once Portis comes in the game, bro, I almost have to close my eyes because I'm telling you, man, like like I said, nothing against the guy. He's a cool dude. Got a chance to meet him. We got to trade him, bro. We don't need him. We don't. I'm telling you, nine nine nights out of ten, we do not need Bobby Portis. The, your three bigs, your three power forwards has to be Julius, Morris, and Kev. That's it. You don't need Portis. He's the same player. You know what I mean? You don't need him. We need defense. Taj alone is not going to cut it. And I thought, he, you know, I was hoping he would. Hoping to get, uh, I hope he overachieved in that regard. He had a yeah. couple bright spots tonight, but Taj alone is not going to cut it, man. We need interior defense. Badly, man. Super Trade badly. Portis, man. Trade Definitely. Portis, bro. I, 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 I agree with you, man. And then even with, like, this this blood at power forward, maybe you have Morris backing up Randall or Randall backing up Morris to open some of that up sometimes. Like, yeah. I like I like what Morris does on the on the defensive end sometimes, man. But like sometimes he's just too slow. Yeah. On the matchup. Right. But, but well, I mean when you have him out there with Julius, it, it like I said, man, I I don't know. I don't know where they go with it. I'm not sure where they go with it. Be, yeah, and I, yeah. I was hoping too in the beginning. He starts off the game looking off his own shot and, and giving uh, Mitchell Robinson an easy layup, and then it seemed like he just reverted right back to calling his own number. Yeah, yeah. Be- because this is, here's the turning point of the game, man. Here's the turning point of the game. And as soon as I seen this whole thing unfold, I, 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 I poured up a glass of wine, bro, because I knew it was over. I already knew it was over just by the way the flow of the game was going because... While the defense was decent and spurts, we couldn't string together a couple good stops. Yeah. You know what I mean? We were never able to really go on a run of getting stops and, and coming back on the other end and, and ex- executing. So I knew it was going to come down to uh, uh, this play here. And that was the flagrant foul on Julius Randle, bro. Man. We were down Man. two points with eight minutes to go. That... Markeith. Shoot. Splashes the three. Okay, okay. For first off, we'll blame Julius for the foul. Terrible, terrible instincts. Terrible IQ there. You can't make that. You can't foul him there. Nope. Okay, but then they call a flagrant foul on that jail. Come on, man. You gonna call a flagrant foul? I was besides myself, bro. Dog. I was besides myself at what the league is becoming with all of this. Review this. Review that. Stop this. And this is a flagrant foul, bro. Talk to me, man. Dude, Mitch got a concussion. <laughs> right, right. Mitch My man, Mitch a, got a concussion, man. I'm trying to curse. I almost said it. Mitch got a freaking concussion, CP, and he couldn't get a flagrant foul. Home, homework is a flagrant foul for that. And then not only that, the Fisdale calls challenges a review because uh, Langston got a uh, Langston, a uh, Langston. Pull, pulls a Reggie Miller, yeah. kicks his foot out. Yep. And, yep. and trips Kevin Knox, the refs review it, and, and still called it on Knox. Him, I couldn't believe you got it. You got to print the, the the game is just it's too much catered to the offense, man. It, there's too much catering to the offense, man. I'm sorry. Like, okay, you want to blame Julius? Yeah, somebody on Twitter. You know, a lot of people agree with me. Somebody else clap back. Well, that's the rule. You know, Julius, it's Julius' fault, and that's it. Oh, listen, it's in the rule book, okay, but it doesn't mean that it's a good call. Dude, that turned around the whole game. I knew we lost from that yeah, point. Man. Yeah, me too, man. I knew we no, lost from you. that point. That was a six-point swing. They went no. on a 19-8 to eight run within the next four minutes. Six points in, in less than 30 seconds we were down. And, and then and, they called the travel. I'm sorry. And then they, right, and then they called the travel on the other end, and then, boom, come back with down eight. If, yo, I, if I was Morris, man, I, I would have threw the ball too at that point. I can't even blame dude. Bro. I, I can't even blame dude. I was pissed. I was like, that wasn't even a travel. What Frank Lakina did before was a travel. And, and at that point, that's when they go into hero ball. They mm-hmm. stop moving it. It becomes hero ball. It becomes one-on-one. The travels start picking up. You know, Frank got called for one. Morris got called for one. Yeah, and it just, it, it's sloppy, man. It just becomes sloppy. Um, another area, once Mitch goes down... Obviously, you know Drummond is going to be an animal on the boards. I mean, we only got four boards out of Julius and, Mi- and Morris each. Can't have that. Sheesh. Can't no. have it. We got to be on that. We got to be on the boards, man. Definitely got to be on the boards. There's, man. There was no way. There was no way we we're going to win not get not getting on the offensive boards or, or the defensive class, and we got out rebounded by almost twenty tonight. 
Yeah, at that point, you have to make concerted effort. Like Mitchell Robinson is out. We have to put bodies on everybody, not just ball wash. We got to go after the ball, man. Yeah. Like this, this guy is. A, they are rebounders. Randall is a rebounder. We need to. We need to rebounds. And I don't know, man. And, and I, if I see Randall turn the ball over on uh, a post up one more time, I am going to scream, CP. I'm going to scream. You know, um. The thing, the thing with Julius is, we, you know, and me and you talk about this. We talk about this all the time in the off season, and we were saying, you know, what, what's going to make him an all star? What's really going to make him? Can he? When, when we had that episode, when we were like, can he be the guy? And to me, it was like, we know the numbers on the offensive side are going to come, but can he make winning plays for this team? No. You know no. what I mean? Can he make winning plays? And that's what's doomed him. He does not make while he got his offense back on track. The lapses on defense. Yes. You know, the inability. Like, he just, he, he's just not cut out for it right now. No, he's not. He's, he's just not cut out for it right now. We just have to be realistic um, with our expectations for him. You know, the pressure's on him to be the guy. He can't be the guy. No, he's not. Like, he needs he's to not the guy. The ball. He needs to be fed the ball or he needs to shoot on the move. In the, in the beginning of the game, when I felt like he was running and going downhill, he was unstoppable. The, the stream percentage skyrocketed back up. Every time he starts this ISO, uh, he, he tries track, to win it uh, on one possession. Yeah, it, it doesn't go well. It doesn't go well. At all. That has to be abandoned. We need more pick and roll, please. Yeah, yeah. please. Just instead of and Todd set pick, uh, set some picks. I, I like the way Todd sets picks. Yeah, I like the way Todd sets picks. Like yep. it's, it's funny because we do that dribble handoff bull, mm-hmm. but it looked a lot better when Todd get when Todd Ta- Todd yeah. Taj had a couple. He had a couple bright spots. Taj had a couple yes. bright spots. Give credit where credit is due. Um, but yeah, you know, Ju- Julius, it just can't be that guy. Um, Ellington, hey, listen, I was an Ellington defender thus far, but I, as I've said, if he doesn't have it, go somewhere else. If you want to be more efficient on the offensive side and you don't want ISO in there dribbling, dribbling, I get it. Throw in Dotson. Yeah. Right. Why not? Where? Why not Dotson? If you want to get more not? efficient. On the perimeter, and you don't want, you know, I get it, you, you know, the the apprehension of putting ISO in because he might, you know, throw off the pace of the game and be dribbling, over dribbling. I got it. Throwing Dotson. That's my new hashtag. Why not Dot? Free, do, free Dot is back. <laughs> free <laughs> Dot is Black back. Damage. Somebody Jeez, in the man. chat just said it. Uh, the chat is going fast. So to everybody in the chat once again. Hit that thumbs Jeez. up for, for Knicks Fan TV and the Nick of Time show. Knicks lose, but we win, man. We ah. thanks for supporting, man. We appreciate we appreciate you guys for supporting us. Um, free dot is back. Jarrell Williams, Rome. Yeah, man. Free dot. Alex Collins. Free dot free is dot. back. Free dot is definitely back. Game well, wasted. Game wasted. Game wasted. And like I said, because we in our inability to get stops to couple stops, there was no way we were going to recover after that. Because that six, the six-point swing just gave him all the momentum in the world, bro. There was no way we were going to recover from that, especially the game that, uh, especially the game that uh, Tony Snell was having, the game that Markeith Morris was having. We couldn't recover from it. Yeah, we were we were done. We were done. Langston, bro. Langston Galloway was picking us apart. Langston, that's my guy, though. I like him. I, like I know, him. but yeah. he's always he's, killing us. He's Why? always killing us. Always, he always kills us. He's Every always killing time. us. Man. He's always a damn all star when he plays. Oh with. man, oh, oh boy. Oh, I don't know, man. I, I'm pretty sure Ari's gonna call soon uh, with, with this ISO rank. I mean, I didn't, I didn't see. I don't know. I'm not sure. I'm, 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 I'm not even sure right now with this team, man. Not even sure. And now we might not even have Mitch for Friday in Dallas. That is a heartbreaker because he's a concussion. That means they're gonna have to be cautionary and days missed. And oh my, this is. Hard. What, what, what are you gonna? What are you gonna put Portis on KP? Good luck tonight. This is bad. Hey, good man. luck to, Good luck, man. Bad. Oof. Oof. Definitely, we need Mitch just for. Oh Ugh. my god. Hey man, Anthony Edwards looked good last night. <laughs> All right. 
Anybody watch Anthony Edwards? Hey man, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not ready yet, man. But hey, I'm not ready either. But I started looking at highlights, man. It's getting early in college basketball, man. College basketball just started. I whole, I heard Cole Anthony drop 34. Yeah, so did I. I was looking at it today. Hey, we might might have to dip in dip in the college waters a little bit early, JL. Dog, I was trying to save that for Fed. One in one in seven. What was said to be uh, a, a light stretch, we we just got blown out again by twenty points. 